what is up my riders so this is what you guys have all been waiting for this is what i've been waiting for for the past like six hours we're gonna set my tattoo up brief summary of what i'm doing the ink that i always use i swear by it every single tattoo that i've had is uh kurosumi screw cap you can close it easily first things first sanitary I'm gonna get a bunch of these, but since mine came with them, I'm gonna use them for myself, obviously. I'll have to get a bunch oh, if no. I start doing wow. people. All right, guys, so I'm gonna have to kind of record with you guys, but also have it in a weird angle. Working with here, right here, it's where I want it. I made that decision last night. I don't want it up here, I want it down here. Starters, I got soapy water, a clean, razor that i use on myself no one else goal right now is to shave i'm gonna jump cut because i don't think you guys really care but i'll show you the before, the before and after all right guys this might be a little bit unorganized make sure that there's no hair trust me i've made the mistake before it doesn't feel good when you accidentally thread your hair follicles with a tattoo gun what i'm gonna do roll up my pant leg make sure it's in a good position lay down paper towels what i would do is tape them to keep them secure cap do this before you get started the top be sure to close off your ink to keep it lasting as long as possible a and d ointment like i said i am not going to be using the a and d on other people the same way that i am using it on myself i'm probably gonna make my own little baggies to bring with if I start doing it on other people. a and &D, diaper rash ointment. I think it smells really good. I always like the smell. We'd rather have more than too little. So what I've heard is the best way to do this. So I have my stencil. What I will do, so I'm gonna try to save as much paper as possible, but I'm gonna cut this out. All right, transfer paper to the side. This is our stencil. All right, so we wanna make sure that it lines up perfectly. For me, I want it to be like this on my leg so that when people see it, uh, it kind of makes sense uh, how they're seeing it. So when I'm standing upright, I'm gonna want it so that they're seeing it like this. So what your boy is gonna do, I've heard good things about alcohol. I've never tried it, we'll see. Saturated, but also kind of starting to dry. I've done it with fresh rolls of um, deodorant before. That worked really well too. But I, I hear that this, works pretty well all right honestly that's not terrible i can work with that it's not perfect but i specialize in freehand so that is what everyone's going to be seeing that is my practice let's get everything ready to go so for these cartridges a liner looks like this liner is blue this is fresh this is sterilized make sure yours is fresh i still have to learn this i'm going to actually start wrapping this once i do other people's i'm not because i'm doing myself and obviously i'll have it sterilized properly uh, it's going to be a little bit different once i do other people's but i should actually start a channel for that so fresh needle you guys are seeing me open it up this is a cartridge style needle as you push it in and then twist okay and then twisting this will actually rotate the little needle tip. Start it up and change how far that needle is gonna stick out. You guys can see that, right? That I'm pretty sure is perfect about how much uh, a small coin would stick out. Super nervous, so I wanna make sure to breathe, all that good stuff. Not nervous in a bad way, just excited to get started. So almost an anxiety from that. We're gonna wanna make sure that we're stretching when we do our lines. Get a little bit A and D. I think I'm gonna start closest towards me. So I'm gonna start with this line across, go from there. Right, so what I'm doing is dunking this tip in the black once I start the gun up. At the top, I have it set to an eight. Let's see how she does. 40 degree angle. Okay. 
All right, guys, so what I'm realizing is that you can come out a bit with the needle. You want to be dipping a lot more often. All right, that was a really clean line. All right, I definitely should be doing it like this. My skin is a lot more free. I could easily fix this by going a little bit slower. Every time, get a fresh paper towel. Make sure to wipe and look at what you're tattooing. Also, obviously, I'm tattooing myself, so that goes without saying. Your brain is going to be instinctively predicting for the pain. So you're actually predicting pain, but you're also trying to uh, get a tattoo. So take it slow, breathe, do all that good stuff. But I'm actually getting the hang of shading. I jumped to shading because my strong suit isn't lining. I need a lot of practice for lining. But since it is a cross, I can focus on some of the shading to make the cross look more apparent. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. Start back up. Leave this thing record. It needs to be a time lapse. Apply some A and D to my next spot. We're working right here. Turn it on. I'm working at a nine right now. It seems like a really good speed for this shader. And let's get started. I'm realizing that I do the best with little circles. So I stretch the skin and then work in little circles, almost like how you would weld. I can tell just by how my skin's reacting with the swelling that your boy's gonna have to let this heel come back and do a little bit of retouch up work just because my skin's not doing the best with swelling. It's very, very sensitive right here, but I think the overall design is coming out pretty good. Also learning the feel of how far and like the feel of the needle so that I know I'm actually going in all the way. First, I don't think I was completely going in with the, the needle completely. Also, I'm learning how this machine sounds when it needs ink. So I know when to kind of re retouch up on the ink. I really like how this tattoo machine uh, kind of handles the tattooing. All right, we're gonna kind of move away from this spot, focus on down below. All right, we're going down below, and then what I'm gonna do is bring the middle parts out, and then it should be good. definitely feel it down by my knee that's for sure all right we got the last part and then we gotta just bring the inside of it out all right time to bring this this and these out just a little bit and it should be complete
I just wanted to include, throw everything away with the paper towel that you were collecting, all the old used paper towels and put the needles back in the container and you can throw them out safely. All right guys, so reviewing the tattoo, I did this little semicolon because I've always wanted a semicolon tattoo. That was just a little freehand thing. This, uh, I'm going to have to go in with the shading to straighten the line up. And I actually started doing shading with liner instead of a shader just to get the line crisp. So this needs to be brought in just a hair. That needs to be brought in just a hair. Uh, but when you, you level it like that, it actually doesn't look too bad. It always is like that with straight tattoos, no matter how you turn your leg, it's gonna look a little bit different. You twist it, now it's not straight. For what I did, I'm pretty happy with it. I just have to bring them in. And my whole goal was actually to bring this shading part out on all sides. But like I was saying during the tattooing, uh, my skin was actually significantly swelling up. So I'm gonna let this heal, give it like five days, come back at it and bring the shading out on all sides. Make the line a little bit crispier, but this was just a learning experience. It's the first time I used a machine in how long? Like five years, four years. So uh, we're getting back into it. I have all this shaved now. So I plan on doing a lot more come in the future so tattoos in the future because i shaved this leg so i should be doing a couple more in the next few days to practice and then i might switch to another body part that i can do easily whether it's my calf whether it's i thought about a hand tattoo it's all going to depend on how i feel and the learning curve is definitely there it's apparent got to get better with my line work and the shading get back into it before I attempt something else but for now I think that that was a very well learned experience I started to get the feel I started to get excited I started to like wanting to keep going and add more and more and more but I need to take a breath relax maybe come at it again tonight uh, but I don't want to just jump in head first and then have a bunch of stuff that I regret I want to kind of relax think about each one that I do and not make the same mistake that I did before, where I just jumped in and tried to do like 100 all at once because I'm super excited. But if you guys like this stuff, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions and let me know if you have any tips, if you are into tattooing and whatnot. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy. Show us. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, bye.